this week we're back at the podcast here. We've taken some time to take care of ourselves. I'm back with a little recap of what I've been going through and where my mind's at after saying I'm going to become an astronaut. Brushed up on my history for Juneteenth, and I hope you celebrated a happy Father's Day. And now, let's talk about the balance. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to another segment of The Balance. And, man, it has been quite, quite the journey the last uh, few weeks. You guys may have noticed my uh, my absence the last the last week. Uh, it's, it's been, what, two weeks since we put out, put out an episode. So uh, that is because I've been working on myself. I've been trying to, you know, uh, we, we kept this podcast going through the entire pandemic, through me losing a job, uh, getting a job, getting another job throughout this whole ordeal the last 16 months. So so it, it, you may not, you know, if, if you're a, a, a listener that li- <laughs> that listens to every episode, first of all, Thank you so much for taking that amount of time uh, out of your day to actually do that. But basically, you know, it's been it's been a crazy year. And that's, you know, I've had a much better 16 months than a lot of folks uh, out there. And um, this last two weeks has really been perspective, finding finding my place and getting back to a, a good mental place. Just uh, something happened since the last episode where I talked about finally wanting to become an astronaut and actually actually saying that on this podcast makes it real. You know, that's that's one of the things that and when I say real, I mean real to me, right? I, I've now said it to the internet, right? I've put it out there and you know, I have to I, I have to take action on it. That's been one of the cool, amazing things about this podcast is, you know, when we put stuff out there, it's it's it made me a person that actually executed on things. It made it it made it more real to me. And you know, through my whole journey of podcasting uh, since what 2014, so I've been podcasting for like seven years at this point, which is crazy. It's crazy that I've spoke this much on the internet. And sometimes it's tough, even in seven years, to really look back and think like. How much have I changed? You know, you feel like the same person because you're kind of used to the day to day. Um, and I am a very different person from when I started this podcast. Uh, you know, a lot of it is really more just finding out who I actually am. That's one of the craziest things about this podcast is really figuring out like who I am, what what makes me tick, and like how things work. And the anxiety I had. <laughs> When I first wanted to start a podcast, was crazy, um, and you know, I, as I've talked about on this podcast before, I grew up as like the lazy perfectionist. That's what I would, I would I would describe myself. Where it was like I wouldn't do anything unless it was perfect. And if even if I started something and it didn't get to where I wanted to, or it got to a place where I was like, oh, this isn't what I wanted it to be, I would stop. That's that's who I was growing up in a nutshell, you know, I mean, and then there were, then I started realizing that I actually followed through on the things that I was super passionate about. And then, you know, I would get some confidence and then I would do that thing. And that was really what it was all about. It was about finding confidence, about, uh, you know, not worrying, not overthinking, because that's, that's another thing that I definitely try to work on is overthinking. And I mean, look, I'm in the right kind of field for that kind of thing, right? I'm in engineering, I'm in science. So overthinking, look, I've, I'm in the right place. <laughs> um, and one of the things that I've learned about engineering after learning about it through books and going to labs and doing projects is, you know, this idea of iterative design and an iterative process and like taking something, trying it, seeing how it is in the real world. I had this idea, I do it in real life. Oh, it doesn't work the way I thought it was, but this is this is what it's doing. How do I fix that so that it does closer to what I'm looking for? That is essentially what I do on a daily basis as an engineer. Um, And of course, you know, we've talked about before about, you know, theory, like theoretical physicists and uh, engineers, they kind of think about things differently from a different aspect of science. But combining the two, that is that is the magic, right? Um, so where was I going with this? Anyways, uh, did I, did I say I was taking mental health break? (laughs) So, 
So uh, the whole point of me bringing this up is to kind of get people up to speed to who I am, if you're brand new to this podcast, right? Um, And this podcast made me actually have to do the things that I said I was going to do. And there's a lot of the early years, which, I mean, look, uh, if you like the podcast, I don't suggest going back. <laughs> they're, they're the ramblings of a, a, a kid in his 20s who hadn't graduated college yet and had just this angst of, of everything about the industry, about everything about just the culture of engineering, especially in an academic level. Um, so I, I had a lot to work through, and this podcast helped a lot. It got me in front of a lot of people i had the amazing opportunity to go to like a nasa social early on it was for the new horizons mission uh the mission just before the flyby uh and it was one of it, it kind of broke the ceiling for me as far as what i just had in my mind that like nasa didn't like me or nasa i wasn't good enough for nasa i had convinced myself of this right this was the the reality i was playing in my head as a kid that struggled in academia and just thought because i struggled in academia i would struggle working for nasa or i would struggle as an engineer and then i started i bought a 3d printer and i started messing with it and playing with it and that's when i started realizing like oh i really like this i'm gonna get into this um and that helped me change like 3d printing became the avenue that i got to do my science and really do it for myself in the way that i wanted to explore the things that i wanted to and then built a business out of that that we still run today ag3d and i had to learn the business aspect of things right so now you know what is it uh four years into doing that i you know we have a pretty amazing thing where that idea that started in the podcast that i had to follow through on now funds this podcast and i get to help bring people's ideas into reality with 3d printing and help them like hey i've got this idea for a business i want to do but i don't have a lot of money like you don't need thousands of dollars to bring an idea into reality you don't have to buy an injection mold and make a million of them right away you can play with it you can try it out you can go hey got this idea do what i do what i do on the daily basis say i've got this idea i think this is how it would work let's get a prototype let's get something to work it and see what it does and then you can decide is this something i'm going to spend money on right uh that's 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 the amazing thing that we've done that's something that's come from basically putting up or shutting up (laughs) on the internet and it's pretty crazy the the returns of taking that risk what that's been for me um and it's it's pretty wild and with everything that's happened after the angst of being that young engineer to you know being being let go or laid off over the years and trying to find my place in an industry that isn't aerospace engineering because i graduated at a time when the space industry was in a drought, in a, in a pure drought where funding was so tight that they had to hire literally people that were the perfect qualifications. And, and unless you were a friend of somebody or worked in another place or had a relationship, whatever it was, got into a, a program uh, that was like a STEM program that you met somebody that then you had that connection, right? Which is a, which is, the right way to do it with aerospace being so tight i found myself in this position where i had too much experience and not enough experience for every single job that i applied to i was even calling my local airport uh at one point to be like hey like i want to work in aerospace is there something that you have open and the fact that i was an engineer they were like well we don't know what to do with you you know if i had called up and said hey i want to fuel planes on the airline it probably would have been different a different conversation so um again so this is this is everything that i've been going through the last two weeks why we haven't put out a podcast because i just knew that i had to i had to work through this and gwyn shotwell gave a commencement speech the president and ceo of spacex right one of the major reason for why spacex is as successful as they are today is because of gwyn shotwell uh, changing the industry and then making, uh, bringing in money for SpaceX to do the bigger and greater things that they want to do. And she gave this commencement speech and she gave three different, 
um, she gave three lessons that she wanted to share with everyone. We put this up on our, our Instagram page, at Today in Space Pod. Um, that's where we post. We try to post every day there so we actually can talk about things today in space. And um, these lessons from Gwyn, um, the first one was set and achieve absurd goals. Don't be afraid of failing. The second was work hard and be helpful. And the third was be kind, but at a minimum, be respectful. And this, so this was her giving a commencement speech at Northwestern University, her, where she is an alumni, right, where, we, where she went to school and got her degree. And first of all, I recommend that you go listen to it. We'll have that link in this week's episode because I think it's one of the best speeches I've ever heard, especially for someone um, in my position of like someone that didn't purely do all of, didn't want to do the pure theoretical stuff um, and wanted to find like a, a way to do both, right? The theoretical and the practical um, in science. And anyone that's in STEM, right? Anyone that's in, in, in any kind of science or technology, engineering, mathematics, whatever it is, I think you should listen to this commencement speech. And even if you're not in science and you just like that way of thinking or you're just looking for some good advice, right, for where you want to take your career and what you want to do on the daily, what do you want to, you know, put, give back to the world, right, um, and change it, this is an amazing thing to listen to. And, and I found myself doing something that I did when I was at my lowest confidence, which was at school, failing classes, um, but doing really well in the ones that were the hardest. And it was one of the toughest times. And again, so my my degree was in aerospace engineering with a concentration in astronautics. So basically anything that's in space, right? Anything that's in orbit. That was that was my focus uh, in, in school. And it's interesting how you you find yourself in a curve. You know how you, people grade on a curve, that bell curve, if you're familiar with that graph. Even within a place where you have the top, smartest people in the world, every person there, it's an engineering school. So all the degrees are engineering. There's, there isn't a nursing program. There isn't a, you know, like a, just a pure psychology program. There is just no liberal arts. You had to take, you had liberal arts to take, but there wasn't a degree for it. Every degree was an engineering degree. That even there you were in a curve in, in, in the culture of it, right? Even there, the smartest people, the population that you're pulling that curve from is, is smarter than most people on earth, right? It's in, in, in the state, in, in the world, right? Um, those people, you could be stupid in that group. You could be considered dumb or lazy or whatever it is. And... Um, I found myself after saying that I wanted to be an astronaut. I finally am at this point where I think that's a goal I can set for myself and that I'm trying to use that to get through uh, a, a mindset that I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in with, you know, trying to get fit and healthy when it's not the way that I used to do it growing up. So it's completely new and having to, having to just go slower and really, really focus, um, which has pulled me away from this podcast and from other things, you know, because I need to take care of myself. I need to, I need to try, right? I need, and I need a goal, just like this podcast was, just like the 3D printing thing was, to put it out there and make it real. And I've actually been thinking about it. I've been obsessed watching the Inspiration 4 team actually train. They're actually sharing what their training is like. And of course, at the same time watching that, um, realizing, oh my God, I couldn't, I literally could not do that today. Um, but having a goal big enough to do that is, is, it changes the way that you look at it. And this has changed. It has done that. And I had to, because we're all human, right? As, as much technology as we have, the, like the amazingness that you can listen to this around the world and that it's out there and all these amazing things that we do, we are still apes at the end of the day, stupid apes that have found a way to use technology to get ourselves better. I think this last year, this last 16 months have shown us that we're all human beings. There is a human side, an emotional side of things, as logical as we want to be or as, as pure and as, as, as you know, um, 
ideologically pure as we think we want to be. We're still emotional apes at the end of the day. And I found myself doing the thing that I did back when I was the least confident uh, in, in life, at, in college, failing classes, not knowing when I was going to graduate, realizing I was going to get off the track. And I found myself doubting myself tremendously and, and doing this thing where I was, I was trying to psych myself out of it because I set this goal and I know of, of, of becoming an astronaut and I know from quitting cigarettes the anxiety and the amount of times I had to do that and when I finally made it real uh, and went through it. But all the, as, as it's been called, resistance, metaphorical resistance in your life, when you have something that you really want to do, stuff gets in the way. It's like it just, and this is not scientific, this is, this is philosophical, right? Stuff gets in your way when you do this. And I got in my own way after saying this on the podcast. And if I, it wasn't there for me to look up and go, I said this to you people. I, I actually said this. I'm going to commit to this. And the amount of resistance I felt in these last two weeks, as crappy as it was, as terrible as, as it was, it all came together when I heard that commencement speech from Gwyn Shotwell. And it's like 12 minutes and it literally made me realize, like, oh, I'm sabotaging myself. I'm doing this again. And uh, so <laughs> even though I haven't been around for two weeks, believe me, believe me, I'm still doing the work behind the scenes. And I hope you are, too. Um, it, when you try and do the thing that you love that, that's right, things are going to philosophically get weird, right? They're going to get to a point where it's things are people around you are going to start acting weird, you know, like there's a book uh, from Stephen Pressfield, uh, The War of Art. And again, this is this is the philosophical, right? This is not scientific, um, but it's anecdotal. And it's very interesting stuff. You know, science doesn't have an answer for everything. And sometimes having a halfway answer that that combines it is is okay, you know, like it's, it's all good. You're, we are humans, we're not robots. So anyways, um, a, a weird episode, definitely a strange episode, but that's where my life is. So my point here is that um, things seem to get tougher before they get easier, especially when you're doing something that really does matter. And uh, not that I'm trying to say that me becoming an astronaut matters, um, but the goal to me definitely matters. And it's it's just made me look at everything, kind of I, the a lot of what I've been doing the last decade um just kind of had an introspective had to look back on everything and be like hey wow this is where i'm at um and now that i've gotten my grounding with that again and i've gotten great advice from the president and ceo of of gwyn shotwell um of spacex gwyn shotwell um the person the amazing person um you can too and like that sometimes it's just one thing that puts it all together and it makes a big difference so if you want to do something, if it's something like whatever it is, whether you want to start your own small business, whether you want to uh, get into science or, or STEM, um, whether you want to be a musician, whatever it is, whatever that you're trying to do, um, go for it and know that the, the road is hard for everybody. Um, and it's it's partly about the things you do along the way that that make a big difference and then it turns you into the person that you need to be when you get to the end of that road so or or, or whatever that path is to the next path right um yeah so i wish you well i hope you're doing well um please take care of yourself it's the summer look we're we're like i said we're in i am in getting myself healthy mode so the podcast will still be here i'll still be putting podcast episodes out um you know, I don't think people want to listen to me every single week. <laughs> I want to come back when I have great things, uh, oh, things to talk about, right? Um, there's a lot that's been happening in the space industry. There is this crazy, crazy SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, human space flight race that's happening right now. And, 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 the, and it's, it's kind of drawn out. So I, I want to come together and put that into context for you guys. So, um, 
as far as like what this new era is going to be because we are entering this new era and that's a lot of what's on my mind too is you know um the space industry is is entering a new era if it's not already in it um so let's try to contextualize that a little bit and figure out what the next decade is going to bring and uh that's that's what's on my mind we will have some interviews some some people of science coming up i know I, I said it was going to be this episode, but uh, the computer died, um, and I had to recover everything. So it's, like I said, resistance. <laughs> um, that It gets in the way. It's very weird, and we are still human. So do what you need to do for your human self, for your ape self, um, and then focus that mind. Use the technology in front of you for your own betterment, and make sure to spread love and spread science. Here's to a fantastic future, hoping for one. And looking to uh, play a tiny, tiny part in that, as I'm sure you are too. Look out for SpaceX. SN16 is getting put together uh, for Starship. And, of course, they're they're going to keep trucking along. And there's a lot of human spaceflight coming up here. So, be well. See you soon. Live long and prosper. See you in the next episode today in space!